This lesson will cover the following topics: heating resistors, relays, solenoid valves, DC motors, stepping motors. Actuators employ various principles according to their function. Heating resistors are a first type of actuator. Heating resistors employ the following principle. A resistor converts electricity into heat. Heating resistors are mainly positive temperature coefficient thermistors. The power supply for the heating resistors is time delayed and generally controlled by a relay. There are several applications for the heating resistor. In this chapter, we covered the following points. Heating resistors employ the following principle: a resistor converts electricity into heat. There are several applications for the heating resistor. Another type of actuator is the relay. The relay enables a high-power electrical consumer to be activated by means of a weak current. The control circuit can be activated either by a manual switch or by a computer. Another type of relay is the reversing relay. On the reversing relay, the brake position of the power circuit switch allows an electrical consumer to be powered. There also exist diode relays. In a conventional relay at circuit opening, an induced current is created in the coil. By connecting a diode in parallel with the coil, this induced current is consumed by the coil. A second diode is added to protect the inductor diode against polarity reversals. Relays have several applications. In this chapter, we covered the following points. The relay enables a high-power electrical consumer to be activated by means of a weak current. The control circuit can be activated by a manual switch or by a computer. On the reversing relay, the brake position of the power circuit switch allows an electrical consumer to be powered. The diode relay employs a diode to consume the induced current at opening of the relay and sometimes another diode for protection against polarity reversals. Another type of actuator is the solenoid valve. Let's examine the simple solenoid valve. The solenoid valve employs the basic principle of electromagnetism. A current passes through the coil of the controlled circuit. The coil's magnetic field attracts the core. The core, integral with a check valve, moves, possibly closing a pneumatic or hydraulic circuit. Return to brake position is performed by a spring. There are two ways of controlling the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve can be controlled by a make-break signal. In this case, the solenoid valve has only two positions, closed or open. The solenoid valve can also be controlled by an opening cyclic ratio or RCO square wave signal. In this case, solenoid valve opening varies according to the signal. There exists a more complex type of solenoid valve. This solenoid valve is fitted with a transmitter potentiometer. This potentiometer is integral with the check valve. And allows the computer to know the actual opening of the solenoid valve. 
The computer can thus adjust the signal to obtain the desired opening. The solenoid valves have various symbols and various applications. In this chapter, we covered the following points. The solenoid valve employs the basic principle of electromagnetism. Solenoid valves can be controlled by a make-break signal. In this case, the solenoid valve has only two positions, closed or open. Some solenoid valves are controlled by an opening cyclic ratio, or RCO, square wave signal. In this case, solenoid valve opening varies according to the signal. Some solenoid valves are fitted with a transmitter potentiometer. This potentiometer allows the computer to know the actual opening of the solenoid valve. Another type of actuator is the DC motor. The DC motor consists of the following components. A rotor. Coils integral with the rotor. Brushes and permanent magnets. The coils are powered through the brushes and are subjected, one after the other, to the action of the magnetic field of the magnets. The rotor rotates. The DC motor is often controlled by a relay. The power supply circuit may include resistors so as to vary the speed of rotation. DC motors have various symbols and various applications. In this chapter, we covered the following points. The DC motor consists of the following components. A rotor, coils integral with the rotor, brushes and permanent magnets. The DC motor is often controlled by a relay. The power supply circuit may include resistors so as to vary the speed of rotation. DC motors have various symbols and various applications. Another type of actuator is the stepping motor. Let's consider a magnet mounted on a shaft. Let's add an electromagnet. If the electromagnet is powered, a magnetic field is created which causes the magnet to rotate. By reversing the electromagnet's polarity, the other pole of the magnet is attracted. But the direction of rotation of the magnet cannot be predicted. To ensure rotation in the desired direction, a second electromagnet is added. Power supply of the two electromagnets makes it possible to control rotation of the magnet. The stepping motor is managed by a computer. Alternating power supply of the two coils enables rotation and the direction of rotation to be controlled. Stepping motors have various applications. In this chapter, we covered the following points. The stepping motor is managed by a computer. Alternating power supply of the two coils enables rotation and the direction of rotation to be controlled. Stepping motors have various applications.